Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here today. If we'll go ahead and like and share the post and then turn with me back to Psalm 116. Psalm 116. We're starting there in verse 5 today. And um, we'll continue looking at this psalm that um, is a good example to us. One that, uh, again, I think we need to... Um, keep in our mind, uh, bookmark something so we can go back to it, uh, because all of us have been where this psalmist has been. Um, this psalmist has been in uh, some situation, whether it was uh, a health situation or an enemy, something um, had uh, threatened the very life uh, of this psalmist, and uh, God had delivered him, and we all, um, if we live long enough, go through uh, some dark valleys. Uh, we go through some difficult times. They may not be uh, necessarily physical death, um, but um, financial death, relationship death, um, a lot of a lot of circumstances in our life that God uh, intervenes and uh, delivers us, uh, and this psalmist is uh, showing us then uh, how he reacted, uh, how he responded to uh, that deliverance. And he did that, we looked yesterday uh, at the first four verses, where he just uh, says, I love God. Um, and uh, he just uh, proclaims his uh, love for God. Now in verse 5, um, not only does he proclaim his love for God, uh, but now he's going to talk about kind of, um, I guess you'd say, why that he loves God so much because uh, of what God had done for him. Uh, his, uh, this song of love uh, that he uh, sung in the first four verses uh, are uh, are because of uh, what he's going to talk about here, because of how good and how gracious uh, that God has been to him, that God would uh, even listen to him. Uh, and so he makes a commitment now to walk uh, according to the word of God, to the will of God uh, for the rest of his life. Uh, and so this is a good model for us. All of us, again, have uh, experienced the deliverance, the, uh, the, uh, the rescue uh, of God. And because of that, we should uh, profess our love for him. Uh, because of his goodness, we should profess uh, our dedication to him. And so in verse 5, he says simply, Gracious is the Lord and righteous, yea, our God is merciful. And so he uses three words there that uh, to describe God, gracious, righteous, and merciful. Um, and again, these uh, three words uh, are uh, excellent uh, descriptions uh, of, uh, of our God, the attributes, the character uh, of who God is, that he is gracious, uh, that he is, uh, again, uh, a God who uh, cares for his people, a God who uh, is compassionate uh, for his people. Uh, he is righteous, that he, uh, he always does that, uh, the thing that is right, uh, and that he is merciful, just another word uh, that describes uh, the, the compassionate uh, nature uh, of, uh, of our God. Uh, he says, uh, the Lord preserveth the simple. I was brought low and he helped me. Um, he, uh, is, uh, he loves God uh, because he is gracious, righteous, and merciful. Uh, and in that uh, graciousness and righteousness and mercy, uh, he says he has preserved, he has protected uh, the simple. And by simple, uh, he simply he means those that, uh, that trust him, those who put their uh, confidence in him like a child, uh, trust their parent. Uh, you've seen, uh, I guess all of us have seen or uh, been part watching a, a child that will uh, jump 
uh, off of a chair or a table or a wall or something uh, jumped and, and expect their, their father, their mother to catch them. They, they trust uh, that parent uh, because that parent has been, uh, been good to them. That parent has been gracious and, and righteous and merciful. Uh, and so God uh, the psalmist says, has uh, delivered me when uh, in my in my childlike in my uh, childlike uh, faith uh, that I placed in him, that he lifted me up and he uh, protected me uh, and he helped me when I was brought low. Uh, Return unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord hath dealt bountifully with thee. And so, uh, because of that. Uh, he says to his, he says, my soul can now rest. Uh, I, I can take um, comfort. Uh, I, I can take uh, peace. My fear uh, has been removed. I am uh, secure. Uh, I am at peace uh, because of what my God uh, has done for me. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. Uh, what a great verse. Delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Uh, and so he says he has, uh, again, we don't know the circumstance, but uh, in the psalmist mind, uh, he was at death's door. Uh, he had lost all uh, options. He had no hope. Uh, tears uh, in his eyes. Uh, he was about to fall. Uh, and God had stooped down and, uh, and rescued him. And so he says, for that, I will walk before the Lord in the land uh, of the living. Uh, that would be a good uh, life verse for all of us. Uh, I will walk uh, before the Lord in the land of the living. What that simply means is uh, I'm going to follow the Lord all the days uh, of my life. And that is the co uh, commitment that this psalmist makes uh, because he recognizes that God uh, has been uh, merciful and uh, and gracious and righteous uh, to him. And uh, as I think about these verses, I certainly, uh, probably like many of you, can think of uh, many times uh, in my life um, where God has rescued me, many times from my own um, my own doings, uh, my own mistakes, and God has rescued me and delivered me. Uh, but more importantly, I think a greater application uh, of this passage, uh, if you're a child of God, uh, how, how well uh, this fits uh, and describes salvation. Uh, that I, listen, I wasn't near death. Uh, the Bible says we were dead. Uh, in our trespasses. Um, I heard Tony Evans one time preach a sermon and he said, how dead is dead? Uh, and he said, you know, we're, we weren't in the valley of the shadow of death when you were, when you were lost before you come to know Jesus Christ as your savior, you were dead, dead in your sin, dead in your trespasses. Uh, and God reached low. He came and he delivered your soul, uh, and dealt bountifully with you. Uh, he delivered your soul from death, your eyes from tears, your, te your feet uh, from falling. And so everything this psalmist describes, uh, I believe, in a physical world in his situation, uh, again, I, again, probably some disease, some uh, battle, something uh, that he was going through. He's describing, a, I believe, a literal real event in his life. Uh, but you and I can read these uh, these nine verses uh, and take them spiritually. Uh, if you're a child of God uh, and recognize that uh, the, the very same words could be applied uh, to what God did for us, what Christ did at Calvary, uh, that he heard me, uh, death encompassed me. I was, again, I was dead. Um, and uh, he says uh, that when I cried, on the name of the Lord, uh, I beseech thee, deliver my soul, and gracious is God. And when I did that, the Lord preserved me. I, I was brought low, and he helped me. Uh, what a great picture 
of, uh, of, uh, of salvation uh, for a believer today. And he says, because of that, I will walk before the land, the Lord, and the land uh, of the living. This morning, uh, I hope you'll uh, make, that, uh, make that your heart's desire, uh, that because of what, uh, what God has done for you, uh, because of Jesus Christ and, and the saving uh, blood that he shed, uh, that he reached low and he rescued you, uh, not from being near death, but being dead, dead in your sin. Uh, and he reached down and rescued us and saved you uh, from that condition and gave you life, eternal life, life abundant, uh, the Bible says. And for that uh, today, I hope you'll commit uh, to walk before the Lord, uh, walk in his will, walk according to his word all the days of your life. Have a great day. Walk with the Lord. Walk before the Lord. And we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.